the idea is we cover left alley. Raw is covering right alley. It can be done a multitude of different ways. You need to be able to switch it up so you can stay alive. But the alley players, left or right alley, should use torque because their position is the most direct, straight back and forth. There's really, I mean, you can change your angles up, but your idea is we want to control those alleys. So torque is a great way to kind of shield yourself a little bit. So use torque if you're an alley player, whether you're left or right. Um, and then protecting us, keeping us from getting shot from the center, are our left and right players. And we're going to call those players, uh, this is car, car side. Jeep side. So Solar's on Jeep side, Bryce is on car side, and Bryce is probably in their building right now, pressing their backyard so they spawn behind us. Um, when we are doing that press, and actually that's what happens here, Blue's in the backyard, he's in an excellent position, this is him over here by the uh, shed or whatever we got here, it looks like a bomb shelter actually, disguised as a shed. Um, but he's our backyard player, he's shooting back here, and when we make those call-outs that, hey, we're, it's going to flip, Miami, who's playing window, is also going to turn around and cover the backyard with blue. So we got two guns in the backyard. Uh, it's con it's a controlled press, and uh, so these are things we kind of already know. Um, but these are just positions and callouts. The other thing is I want to call this the uh, the engine and this the trolley. So um, that way we have callouts that make sense. Engine is this right here. Trolley is this orange vehicle here. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Um, car player and Jeep player, either or should use Rune. Actually, both of them should use Rune. And that way you can quickly scale orange building and be on the aggressive. So once we have things established, we want to push that backyard so we get those free kills for our backyard players, basically, and it just controls the map even better. Um, realize alley players are here to keep our outside players alive. And our outside players are here to cross up and keep our alley players alive. So everyone's got a purpose and um, you got to understand your job. But once things are established, either car or Jeep player should attack um, the house and push the backyard, getting spawn kills over here and hopefully flipping the spawns. So I want to get Solar more involved on uh, doing that. And so if he can play as a rune player or whoever plays over here on this jeep side it's it's tended to be solar um if we can get that person more involved in making a press um, that's going to make basically everything um more effective as a whole we don't need just one guy making that press we should have two guys with the ability to do it and obviously uh solar um being a good player uh would be a good choice to uh, go out there and just cause some havoc in their backyard um, the other thing I want to point out that we did well this game is um, once we got our equipment up, strike teams, we, at least I started leaving them basically right here in the backyard. So let's keep the strike teams in the opponent's backyard. And the reason for that is because they will spawn behind us once we make the press. That strike team will run from their backyard, try to come across the center, to kill our backyard, but by the time that happens, they're already dead. Because Blue's back here killing them with Miami. Um, so yeah. You can see Bryce just doing work here in the middle. This is pretty, pretty awesome. Apparently I died. Somehow I came up the middle. But we got equipment up. Let's just bring it up here and see what we got coming. Strike team. Kind of running around. You can see they're running towards our backyard. So that's what the bad guys are. And I think, yeah, I think you can see I just directed them. They're going to start staying right here in the backyard. That, this guy's right in the corner, which is pretty funny. But they're gonna press. They're gonna stay here in the backyard. And what's good about that is now, well, we got two strike teams coming in. Now they will spawn in our backyard, which is good. You can see Miami and Blue are in position 
to kill those spawns. Um, and if they do happen to spawn back in this backyard, which they will, our strike team's up. And they sh they're gonna start getting kills. So you can see they're pinned in in their own spawn. I mean, look at how fucking hilarious it is. Excuse my French. And now we got more strike team guys. So I mean, it's just. Anyway, when that's going on, the only other thing we need to worry about is uh, this little area right here. They they tend to spawn right in this area sometimes when we have so much controlled. And that's when we're going to take right alley player and just sort of look them this way like this. And that way, because they're not going to come down right alley as much with our strike teams and everything up. And if solar's in position, or if Jeep player or car player's in position... They're going to clean up those alley kills anyway, and it's important we just make sure we clean up anybody that spawns in this general area. So, I'm going to leave this video uh, as short as possible, um, and end on that note. Just realize we're going to do the same game plan, basically, for both sides. So, we control the alleys, and we cross it up, and the cross-up players make the press. So, we played awesome night. I don't even remember the score. It doesn't show the final score. But I honestly want to say we went, I know we went 75-3 and three at least once. You can see Blue got a ton of kills in the backyard. Miami got a ton of kills in the window because he's helping backyard and shooting that window. And technically Bryce and Solar were our lowest kill guys. And those were the outside guys shooting in. So if we can get those guys um, pressing this, this house and pressing this backyard, um, it's going to be even more effective. So well played on Nuketown. Let's keep doing that. Gonna end this recording. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching those that did. And code word is Patriots. Patriots Nation. Uh, Tom Brady is a winner, and uh, Chiefs suck. I need all that in a sentence. <laughs>